breaking news. Falana calls for pro prosecution of officers who brutalized the NLC president Ajero. False police accounts. Now, the senior advocate of Nigeria, Femi Falana, has called on the Inspector General of Police, Dr. Kayode Egbe Tokun, to investigate and ensure the prosecution of the police personnel who brutalized the Nigeria Labour Congress President Joe Ajuru. It was reported earlier that the arrest of Ajuru by police in Oweri, the Imo state capital, while organizing a rally to protest against stored payment wages and uh, wages um, you know for workers in the state. The NLC later said Ajiro was thoroughly brutalized and almost blinded. But in a press statement released by the Imo State Command Police Public Relations Officer, ASP Okoye Hillary Henry, I beg your pardon, the police claimed that Ajiro was taken into custody for protection. However, Falana described the vision, the version of the story as presented by the police as questionable. In a statement on Wednesday, the senior lawyer said he called on the Inspector General of Police, Dr. Kayode Egbetukun, to investigate and ensure the police officers who brutalized the NLC president are prosecuted without any delay. The police version of the brutalization of the NLC president, Comrade Joajuru, is full of loopholes. As soon as Comrade Ajuru showed up at the venue of the rally, he was surrounded by a team of police personnel led by the Commissioner of Police of Imo State. Now, why did the police allow Comrade Ajuru to be brutalized by the so-called miscreants? In other words, why did the police not protect him from the violent attacks? By the way, why did the police officers not arrest the miscreant who brutalized the NLC president in their presence? Why did the police who witnessed the attack without making any arrest suddenly turn around to take the victim to the police clinic? The members of the public who decried the barbaric attack took pictures which have exposed the misleading version of the police. In fact, the pictures confirmed that the miscreants were actually the police personnel. So, it is disturbing that the police justify the actions of the so-called miscreant by saying that Comrade Joe Ajuru has disobeyed the order of a court. Why did the police not allow the court to plunge at Comrade Ajuru of contempt of court order? They had to take their laws into their own hands. So, people are calling that those people that were behind the brutalization of the NLC president, they should be identified, they should be prosecuted. In fact, those that were behind his arrest, those that were behind his ill treatment, that the, the, the ill treatment melted on him should be identified and arrested. At this point, those people should be made to pay. Yes, my country people, this is it. Because, um, you know, the NLC president, although a lot of people have been seeing some signs that Joa Joro may or not be compromised but then why is it that the state police authorities they did not allow the nigerian workers to exercise their human rights they blocked them from exercising their human rights which is right to freedom of expression right to freedom of movement right to freedom of speech but this stuff this ill treatment melted on him to an extent he was almost blinded he was thoroughly brutalized he was mahanded all because of this issue of protest in Imo state although many feel that um, the NLC president protested at the wrong moment in Imo state but then what can we see Guys, these are reactions from Nigerians. As much as I support constructive criticisms in a democratic setting like Nigeria, Ajuro should not constitute himself as opposition to a democratically 
elected governor and president. Workers in Imo State hasn't just started experiencing poor welfareism. He should have intervened a long time ago. Not now, when Labour Party is warming up to contest election against the incumbents. The NLC is a pressure group, not a political part, not a political party. But Ajero behavior is more of a political member than an activist. Leading protests in a volatile environment like Imo at the eve of election can be dangerous. What a country! Those officers should be dismissed with immediate effect. The man did not take action, but now the federal government has taken action on you. This is what you get when a detector is in power. In Nigeria of today, if you protest, you'll be killed. What's the difference with this government and a military regime? We never see anything yet. Very good for him because he was playing between the federal government and the NFC. He deserves it when he was deceiving everybody about strike. He thinks he was smart, Abby. Now, evil men live with what they do. Okay, Nigeria is a very unfor unfortunate country. But it is a total shame. If not for corruption, what does that got to do with a whole labor chairman? Okay, guys, these are reactions from Nigerians. At this point, we may say that the treatment melted on Juajuru. The NLC president was very, very harsh and was unwarranted. It was unwarranted. But then the protests and the strike in this very electionary period, most especially in Imo State, maybe Hope Uzodima felt threatened by this protest and who knows, something led to another and the police had to be there. But then instead of trying to you know, make sure that everything goes fine. They had to fight off the NLC protesters, adopted um, their leader, malhandled him. To an extent, he was almost blinded. So my country people, this is really, really, you know, sad and unfortunate and to some extent unacceptable. That's why Femi Falana has called for probe and the prosecution of officers who brutalized the NLC president, Joe Ajuro. So guys, what are your thoughts on this? I'm dropping.